All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm back to talk about how to create a toggle mute button if you like to use the voice activity setting on Discord to talk to people, but occasionally you do things like you feel a sneeze coming on, you're about to cough, you're going to scream at someone on the other side of the house. You don't necessarily want people to hear that, so a good easy way of using voice activation but being able to block some of that stuff is using a toggle mute feature so that you can dedicatedly turn your microphone off. So to do that, first you have to have voice activity enabled, and then you go over here in the sidebar to the key bindings section, and here you can create a new key binding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find the toggle button. So toggle mute, which toggle mutes us, otherwise push to mute, means that it only mutes when you're holding down your button. I prefer the toggle mute ability. And then I can choose my tilde key as my toggle mute. And then once I'm done and it's no longer showing as red, that means that my new push to talk key binding that toggles whether I'm muted is been saved and is ready to go. You don't have to click like save anywhere in here. This is just a list of all the other default key bindings that are available on Discord. So if I hit exit, you'll notice my little voice light is lighting up as I talk, and then if I hit my tilde key, it'll show it as I'm muted. And as I'm trying to talk, it'll actually flash at the bottom of the screen saying, hey, you know, you're muted. You might want to be aware of that. Uh, people can't hear you because you've muted yourself. And then I can unmute myself by hitting it again. It toggles it off and I can talk to people again. And then like, let's say I start to sneeze, I can toggle it off again, people can't hear that. Toggle it back on, people can hear me. Pretty easy to set up, and if you ever need to turn that off or remove it, you can just go back into your key bindings, hover over this key binding, and then hit the X button to delete it, and then you are good to go. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been how to create a toggle mute button in your key bindings so that you can toggle mute yourself so people can't hear you talk if you need to do all the things that you might need to do. So that'll be it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.